Oh, I uh, had a nice little break there. I mean, last time we were on here talking together, it wasn't fantastic. Tonight, not much better. I mean, break that down for us tonight. Where did we lose that game tonight, Holly? Uh, from the minute we didn't come out on the pitch, if I'm honest, we didn't start well at all. We, we rarely start very well at the, at the minute anyway, but um, the whole team just seems to be lacking something. We have no midfield at the moment. I don't know what more of a warning we need to get a midfielder. It's the, it's the simple stuff we struggle with the most. Like We just need someone to take control of the midfield, keep the ball, look at getting the ball forward from the defenders to the attack. We had no link between the defence and the attack at all. McTominay, I, I didn't even know he was playing like half the time. Matic was very... That he was just dropping between the um, two centre backs. I which McTominay was playing because he was playing awful. Yeah, he was, yeah. he was. Playing. Yeah, this is the McTominay we all know and love. Unfortunately, he had a good game against Burnley, but if you can't be consistent and you don't deserve to wear the shirt, in my opinion. That's it. Consistency in that midfield is an issue. Unfortunately, I don't think. I don't know about you. There is anyone in our club right now to fill that void in midfield. Does that mean? January funds need to be available for Ralph to bring in another midfielder. Yeah, I think so. Um, we do like we have the likes of Pogba, which sitting and we have issues with Pogba as it is. But sitting watching that game would make me miss Pogba. Um, even the likes of Martial, just something different. Like I don't know how these players every week, most most weeks, get away with playing how they are. We need something to like you said in in January. I don't know how you can sit and watch that game and think differently. Um, I don't know what's going on with Rashford at the moment. Even the even while he was warming up, he was warming up right in front of us, and he just looked he just looked pissed off. Like that's that's the only way I can describe him. Like Barbie said, then body language is an yeah. issue with this. A lot of these players at yeah. the moment. Is, are you on board with what Ralph is then? If you're not happy to sit on the bench, if you're not happy to take your time out, or you want you want to do what he says, then mm. out you go. Are you happy with that stance with most of this squad now? Is it about time we had someone like Ralph? Just tell them as it is. Yeah, yeah. I think it is time we had someone this, uh, a slightly more strict on the players. I think they've been getting away with what they've been doing for the past two years under Ollie, if I'm honest, like for too long. Um, I think players like Rashford and McTominay would have enjoyed it under Ollie because they have the security of knowing that they're going to get picked the game after, even if they like show a stinker, which they are doing lately. But under Ralph, I think it is more. There is more pressure, which what which is why the likes of Maguire. McTominay, Rashford, um, Sancho, if, if you want to go that f as far as saying Sancho, they're struggling under him because they know that their place isn't guaranteed because even, like, I'm not sure why Maguire wasn't playing tonight. Do we know that? He had a knock, apparently, oh, okay. from the previous game. Oh, he just simply decided to duck yeah. it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's, that's the thing I'm you don't know under Ralph, yeah. It's one of them, I mean, Phil Jones came in tonight, yeah. for me, showed more than what Maguire has all yeah. season, Ollie, and that, that's, that is a state of affairs, yeah. and it's really bad. Yeah, I said to my little brother when we were walking out um, that he's probably the only player that can hold his head up high after that game. Uh, that says a lot. And De Gea as well. De Gea made a few saves, nothing too drastic, but we didn't act, we didn't create the chances. I mean, in the second half, we looked, we looked a little bit more positive, but Wolves... They, they they didn't look very dangerous. Neither did we. We didn't want the game enough, and yeah. like Wolves are happy to come and take the three points, just like they played tonight. They would have they would have left with a draw, but happy days for them, I suppose. Yeah, another hard fought game against Wolves that we've come out on the wrong end of. It's yeah. not it's not clicking at the moment, Holly. I mean, top four right now from the way it's looking. Are you confident? You think you've still got a chance, or? We seem to be stumbling where other teams are finding a bit of form. Is that a major concern now? Yeah, massively. I, I can't see us getting top four. I think that um, the likes of Arsenal go out with lesser a lesser quality of team, lesser quality players come out and show twice as much heart. That's all you need. Like it's the likes of like to go back into the past, Roy Keane and stuff. Unbelievable players, but the unbelievable attitude most of all. And we have bad attitude in that team. There's no denying that. The only like the only I think Cavani shouldn't have played. Obviously, I love Cavani and I want him to play every game, but he can't play every game. He's really struggled tonight, I think, especially when you have the likes of Sancho, and uh, I thought Greenwood played well up to a, a point. I don't think he deserved to get subbed off over Sancho. Oh, but that, I mean, a lot of moans and groans and boos when Sancho came. Uh, sorry, when Greenwood came off. Mm -hmm. I mean, as well, I've got to take that one on his shoulders because I thought Greenwood was our best creator yeah. forward. Well, he definitely wasn't the worst, and there was there was there was worse people that stayed on over Greenwood. So I think that's what was the discontent within the fans. But 
I, 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 I do question a little bit. I don't question the tactics as much, but I do I do question what the roles of the player, what players were in the first half. I don't see how any of them players were told what to do. They all just looked lost. If whether, whether there were tactics or not, obviously there were, but they weren't taking them on board clearly. Every player didn't know where to be and didn't didn't do their jobs. Yeah, I mean, I have to ask, Ole, I mean, it's hard to, but defensively we were all right. Is there any, I'm not even going to give you a chance to name a forward as a man of the match, because well, simply I, I'm in charge and I'm not allowing you, but they're all <laughs> yeah. deserved it. But if there is anyone up there, you're going to surprise me. I mean, man of the match for us today. It's got to be Phil Jones. Phil Jones. Yeah. Jones is back and he's the shining light. Ole, yeah. sorry it's uh, a bad return. But no, no, yeah, again. <laughs> Thanks for having me.